You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, as you guys know, Deshaun Watson punishment will be coming down here pretty soon. The hearings on the actual punishment will start tomorrow. Now, not only is Deshaun Watson in trouble, but also the Houston Texans. I put out a video, I believe, about a month ago where it was reported that the Houston Texans enabled Deshaun Watson. They provided him a place to get these, quote unquote, massages. And folks, I do believe that the NFL will eventually come down on the Houston Texans. I I believe they're going to get into some major trouble with the NFL. We actually have to see what happens. Uh, will it be a loss of draft pits? I expect they uh, a bit fine. It's going to come down. Now, Deshaun Watson has settled with 20 out of the 24 women that have actually filed suit against him. And now, folks, one of the accusers is actually now suing the Houston Texans. And Tony Busby said this is the first of many lawsuits. Check this out on OutKick. Houston Texans sued for enabling Deshaun Watson's behavior. On the eve of the NFL hearings on Deshaun Watson, Tony Busby has filed a civil suit against the Houston Texans on behalf of one of the four women that has not settled with Watson. The lawsuit uh, was filed Monday in Harris County, Texas. The NFL hearings were determined that Watson violated the lead's personal conduct policy in connection with the 24 civil lawsuits brought against him for sexual misconduct. 20 of the 24 suits have been settled out of court. Now we know that there's also some other women kind of pending. We actually have to see what happens uh, with that, but uh, we'll, we'll see the lawsuit filed today alleges that the Houston Texans quote, were aware of Watson's alleged behavior uh, during massage therapy sessions and the individuals within the Texans organization knew or should have known of Watson's misconduct. Now, when I talked about um, what the Texans actually knew in um, my video about a month ago, the Texans were actually providing NDAs to these women. NDAs. Now, that was actually like, I believe, in December of 2020, when the Texans said they didn't know about any of this stuff until, I believe, March of 2021. The dates don't add up. The lawsuit also goes on to accuse the Texans of providing Watson with rooms set up for him at the Houstonian Hotel, massage tables provided to him for private massage sessions, and an NDA provided to him from the head of Texans security. Now, I believe that is what has gotten the Texans into some hot water here. The head of Texans security. Obviously, this guy's not a lone wolf. Some people high up in the Texans organization, maybe all the way up to Cal Metnair, knew exactly what was going on, and they provided these NDAs. The Texans released a statement on Monday responding, quote, We are aware of the lawsuit filed against us today. Since March 2021, we have fully supported and complied with law enforcement and the various investigations. We will continue to take the necessary steps to address the allegations against our organization. The complaint also alleges that the Houston Texans were informed that Watson was seeking massages via Instagram as early as June of 2020. Now that date doesn't add up because Texans said they didn't know nothing about this stuff until March of 2021. Uh, quote today, we filed the first case of what will likely be many against the Houston Texans related to Deshaun Watson's behavior. Tony Busby stated, uh, suffice to it to say the overwhelming evidence collected in indicates that the Houston Texans enable Watson's behavior is incredibly damning. Wow. So even though Watson settled with 20 out of the 24 women, that doesn't mean that they can't go out and actually sue the Houston Texans themselves. I don't know how many women are actually going to shoot, sue the uh, Texans. I'm not exactly sure how many of these massages actually happen in the Houstonian. That is the, uh, the venue that um, the Texans provided, 
But this is not good news here for uh, the Houston Texans. Going to be interesting to see what um, the NFL is actually going to do about the Texans. But like I said, I don't think anything's going to happen to the Texans until Watson is punished first. And um, of course, the league reportedly is looking for a one year suspension. The Texans, I think um, the NFL is going to get them. I do believe that they're going to get a massive fine. They're going to lose draft pits. But what really can you actually do to an organ organization? Now, if if there are actually individual names that come out, let's say like uh, Cal McNair himself, if he knew directly what was going on, man, the NFL really could come down hard on him. I'm not saying that he'd be forced to sell the team, but if he actually knew, I wouldn't be surprised. But we'll have to see. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.